Hello and welcome to the Daily Bread, an aid to your spiritual growth. In the times that we are living in, many demand that the world changes to accommodate their wants and perceived needs, while at the same time not wanting to take responsibility for their own lives. This is the exact opposite of what we need to do. Let me begin by confessing that I've messed up a lot of things in my life. I partied a lot in my youth and I was unfocused in my studies. I'm in a fairly good place today, thanks to having taken a serious look at myself, acknowledging my missteps to the best of my ability and, also to the best of my ability, have taken steps to correct those things in my life that haven't been working. Had I instead blamed the world and everyone but myself for everything that wasn't working in my life, I would most definitely have been stuck in a bad place today. While it's true that I probably could have avoided some mistakes with better, more relevant education and more conscious adults around me when I was growing up, chances are that I wouldn't have listened to the advices from a more conscious surrounding world anyway. And if I make it my mission to demand that the world changes I'm only going to be angry, bitter and miserable because of it, while the world continues to do what it always has done. Now, I'm not saying that we should never speak up about what is wrong in the world. I think that there are people in very high places today that want to take the world in a tyrannical, oppressive direction, and no matter where we stand on other issues, this is something that any decent person needs to say no to. But we need to be very careful when we voice our opinions, think about the potential consequences of what we stand for, what our opinions say about us as people, and what we do to contribute to what we perceive to be wrong with the world. And this is the point of this statement by Jordan Peterson. When Peterson said, clean up your room before you criticize the world, he wasn't merely referring to the physical state of your living space. Instead, he was advocating for a more profound transformation of the self, one that starts with taking responsibility for your life and improving it. By doing so, you become a better and more effective critic of the world around you. So, what does clean up your room mean in practical terms? For Peterson, it's about taking control of the small things in your life before attempting to tackle larger, more significant issues. It's about creating order out of chaos, even in the small details of your daily routine. By making your bed, doing your laundry, and organizing your belongings, you gain a sense of accomplishment and control over your life. But it goes beyond mere cleanliness and organization. It's about taking responsibility for your actions owning up to your mistakes, and actively seeking ways to improve yourself. Peterson argues that we live in a culture that encourages victimhood and blame-shifting, where people are quick to point the finger at external factors for their problems. However, this mentality doesn't lead to growth and improvement. Instead, it perpetuates a cycle of helplessness and stagnation. In contrast, Peterson believes that taking responsibility for your life is the first step towards personal growth and positive change. By recognizing that you have agency in your life and that your decisions and actions have consequences, you can start to make intentional choices that lead to better outcomes. This mentality fosters a sense of empowerment and self-reliance that can have ripple effects in all areas of your life. Even if I had started taking steps to fix things in my life before I encountered Peterson's work, his work was the wake-up call that finally set me on the right track for real. Why is it essential to clean up your room before criticizing the world? For Peterson, it's about building credibility and authority. If you can't manage your own life, how can you presume to offer solutions to larger societal issues? It's easy to criticize the world and point out its flaws but it's much harder to offer meaningful solutions and enact real change. By first improving yourself and taking responsibility for your life, you demonstrate that you have the discipline, resilience, and skills necessary to tackle more significant challenges. Moreover, Peterson argues that the same principles of personal responsibility and self-improvement that apply to individuals also apply to society as a whole. Societal problems, such as poverty, inequality, and violence, are complex and multifaceted, and there are no easy solutions. However, by encouraging individuals to take responsibility for their lives and make positive changes, we can create a ripple effect that leads to a more just and equitable society. Again it comes down to us as individuals. We create change by changing ourselves. And the more responsibility we adopt in our own lives, the more responsibility we can adopt for other people's lives. If we don't like how the world is run, we need to offer something better. 
not just tell others what would be better, but be parts of the solutions that we want to see. In this sense, clean up your room is not just an individualistic message but a collective one. It's about recognizing that we all have a role to play in creating a better world, and that starts with taking responsibility for our own lives. By doing so, we become better equipped to engage with the larger issues that affect us all. In conclusion, Jordan Peterson's message of clean up your room before you criticize the world is a call to action for individuals to take responsibility for their lives and strive for self-improvement. By creating order out of chaos and making intentional choices, individuals can gain a sense of control and agency in their lives. This mentality fosters a sense of empowerment and self-reliance that can have ripple effects in all areas of one's life. But Peterson's message goes beyond personal improvement. By first improving themselves, individuals can then become better equipped to engage with larger societal issues. Peterson argues that individuals must take responsibility for their lives and work towards personal growth and positive change if they want to have any credibility when criticizing the world. However, it's important to note that Peterson's message is not a call to ignore systemic issues or external factors that contribute to social problems. Rather, he believes that focusing solely on these external factors is not productive. Instead, individuals must also address the internal factors that contribute to these issues, such as personal responsibility, self-discipline, and resilience. Peterson's message has resonated with many people, particularly young men, who feel lost and disconnected in today's society. His message of personal responsibility and self-improvement offers a sense of purpose and direction for those who feel adrift. I used to be one of those men. There are still traces of that man left inside me, but I don't feel that it's this side of me that is running the show anymore. I am actively taking steps to improve my life every single day, and I am cautious against the impulses to whine and complain, instead of thinking constructively about issues. I would like to end this with an observation that I've made. It's easy to want to fix everything at once when we start seeing the sides of ourselves that need fixing. What I suggest instead, is to place the main focus on one thing. This will have a ripple effect on other things as well, because when we feel in control of one area of our lives, we tend to have an easier time handling other areas as well. It's not just about improving and growing directly, but about how the improvement and growing make us feel. In short, when we feel competent we tend to act in a competent manner. That's it for today. If you want to read more about our journey, our discoveries along the way and the observations that we've made about the world, spirituality, Christianity and the human condition, please visit our blog. If you want to support our channel, you are welcome to buy an item from one of our shops. You will find links to all of this in the comment section and in the description. Also, please like, subscribe, comment and share the video. And hit the notification bell, so that YouTube notifies you of new videos. Thank you for your time.